In this video, we're going to talk about Lewis acids and Lewis bases. A Lewis acid is basically an electron pair acceptor. A Lewis base is an electron pair donor. So examples of electron pair acceptors are ions with positive charges, such as H+, plus, Fe2+, plus, Al3+. Plus. These are all Lewis acids. They can accept a pair of electrons. Lewis bases are electron pair donors, and any type of uh, ion with a negative charge, like chloride, bromide, these are Lewis bases. They have plenty of lone pair electrons to donate. Some other examples include hydroxide, iodide, water is a Lewis base. Water can act as a Lewis acid too, but it can behave as both. It can accept a pair of electrons, or it can uh, donate a pair of electrons. What is amphoteric? It can behave as an acid or as a base. Zinc chloride is another Lewis acid. BH3, all of these can accept a pair of electrons. FeBr3, AlCl3, these are some other Lewis acids. The methyl carbocation is a Lewis acid. A carb anion is a Lewis base. Ammonia is another Lewis base. And so as you can see, Lewis bases, they're basically nucleophiles. They're electron rich. And Lewis acids are electrophiles. They're electron poor. Now let's go over some reactions dealing with Lewis acids and Lewis bases. So consider the reaction between boron trifluoride and ammonia. Ammonia is a Lewis base. It can donate a pair of electrons. BF3, that's a Lewis acid. The boron atom can accept a pair of electrons. So whenever you draw the curve arrows, it's always going to go from the Lewis base to the Lewis acid. And so the product of this reaction is going to look something like this. A covalent bond is produced. Nitrogen is going to have a positive formal charge, and boron is going to have a negative formal charge. So that's a typical Lewis acid, Lewis base reaction. So let's work on some other examples. What's going to happen if we put FeCl3 and Cl- together? You're going to get FeCl4-, but let's draw it out. So FeCl3, like BF3, it has a trigonal planar shape. And this chloride has four lone pairs and a negative charge. And so it's going to attach itself to the Fe atom. And now you're going to get this. So now the iron atom has a negative formal charge. Now let's look at another example. Zinc chloride and H2O. Go ahead and predict the product of that reaction. So let's draw it out. So I'm going to draw zinc chloride like this. And then we're going to react it with H2O. Oxygen has two lone pairs. And so the oxygen atom is going to attack the zinc atom. And we're going to have a trigonal planar shape around the zinc atom. So now oxygen only has one lone pair, but now it has a positive charge. Zinc is now going to have a negative formal charge. And so that's going to be the product of that particular Lewis acid base reaction. Whenever oxygen has three bonds, it typically bears a positive formal charge. And whenever you add a new bond to a metal, it usually carries a negative charge.
Try this example. This reaction will be reversible, and you're going to get this AlBr4 minus. So the bromide ion is going to attack the aluminum atom. And so you're going to get AlBr4. It has a tetrahedral molecular geometry, and the aluminum atom now carries the negative charge. And so that's it. And that's the basics behind a Lewis acid-base reaction.